Hello there. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi, part 6. Here it is. I am expecting the best episode. I really want to see a proper face-off between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. This is essential to the storyline and to the vengeance that, uh, that Darth has and the the extreme anger he has for Obi-Wan. And I want to see how, um, in the end, when, uh, you know, we see Luke's face, I want to see how that uh, really affects the storyline. Like, when is it that, um, you know, Obi-Wan goes to Tatooine and finds out, oh shit, like Luke is also in trouble. And, you know, now that I'm pretty sure Reva is not dead because with the way that she, with the way it ended, it's like as if, she was going to reach to Tatooine and somehow she was going to get the boy and for what joy I'm not really sure maybe to get back in his good books but what's the point of that like you're literally submitting to what you wanted to do like that's hunt him down and you're doing the exact so I don't understand that storyline but I really want to see like the my main really effort that I, I'm going to put my all is is not be too judgmental i want it to go with the way it has because the past two episodes i don't think that it's been my favorite like at least the episode five was good but i just think that there were a lot of um, irregularities here and there and i really want to see if i can omit that and try and focus on what's the positive so i'm going to see like hopefully that like you know the parts where like i like say Darth Vader and Obi-Wan fighting off each other stuff like that so let's find out this finale episode and I hope we ended with a bang but um I've heard that people have started saying that there has to be a season two so does it end in a cliffhanger I'm not really sure but nevertheless super excited so let's not wait any further let's get right to it something you want to say yeah you're a dickhead wait your turn Oh. You have what's left when I'm done. Okay, hi. Well, naturally, you are not dead. I'm looking for a farmer. Name is Owen. Well, he did get a bad feeling about this, and it's true. Instincts work very well in this world. Hi, lovely. The sexiest. Increase firepower. Increase firepower. Hyperdrive's almost ready. Move all power to the rear shields. We'll head for Tessin. Tessin. We'll get you out from there. Motivator shot. Power couplings are bad. Shit. I'm working on it, but those shields won't last forever. How much time do you need? Well, all the time. More than we have. Yeah. Obi Wan, are you going to do what you what I think you're going to do? You're going to go over to the ship. And submit yourself. Oh yeah, it's the people shot. It's the civilian shot. I'm scared. She keeps their minds off of it. Oh, sweet child. Maybe I should borrow her too. Now, how did Reva get here? Howdy. Oh, howdy, howdy. Lukey boy. Oh uh, yeah, Reva's on her way. Owen. There's something you need to know. No, no way! You can't just leave me here! I'm the one that Vader wants. If I go, he will follow. I'm not letting you! Leia, please! Wait, what happened to all of us staying together? Roken needs more time to fix the ship. This will give him that time. You've spent ten years protecting the Jedi. This is my chance to return that favor. But we're so close! Roken, you know this plan makes sense. No, we need you! It'll buy you the time you need. You must get these people out of here. Leia, I find she needs to be given space. Just you must promise me that you'll get her. Wow. Roger, as soon as I'm in the clear. You have my word. Although I know the word of a liar and a fake Jedi may not mean much to you. It's good enough for me. You gotta do what you gotta do, babe. How did she you know I was here? I don't know. All I know is she's coming. Ben is gone. Whose fault is that? We need to leave, bro. We need to take Luke and hide somewhere. Where? In the desert? I'm not leaving my home. Bro, what are you doing? We both knew the same might come. Oh fuck, what the what is that? Hunting rifle? Best we got position now. 
Holy shit. Uh, listen to your wife. Holy crap. She's uh, a keeper, that one. You said you'd take me home. Oh, darling. I wish that I could, Leia. Really, I do. Please tell your father I tried. She would have wanted you to have it. Oh, Tala. It's empty. Well, I wasn't going to give you a blaster, Leia. <laughs> You're ten years old. She has always been ten years old, yet you've placed her trust in her, so... Oh, my God. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Oh, so get the bond. I promise. How exactly are you going? I have to face him, Master. Don't tell me you make a connection now. Whether he dies or I do, this ends today. Well, if I God would have spoken, I would have. No, you want to do it. It's about you and him. Just keep them safe. Keep yourself safe too. And it's also for the fans. Thanks very much. We need an Obi Wan way to fight. <laughs> there are not many leaders left. People follow you. Don't stop. Just get started. Lord Commander Roken. I like the tone of that. My lord, we must continue our pursuit of the insurgents. Wipe out this network in its entirety. We cannot prioritize one lone Jedi. He is not just any Jedi. <laughs> I mean, how long can you keep up that? The Tuscans are on the hunt again. They're waiting Ooh. for us on the waste. So stay in here. If anything goes wrong, you, you know what to do. You run. I'm not afraid. I know. Everything's going to be fine. Prepare my ship. I will face him alone. That's what I mean. Yes, please. Thank you. Holy Lord of mercy. <gasps> Look at it. So great! I am so excited. Oh, you got Lola! It's about time. You've got to face it. Oh, nervous. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. Have you come to destroy me, Obi Wan? <laughs> I'll do what I must. Versus blue babes. Yes! I thought he was just gonna point. <laughs> I swear I thought he was gonna. <gasps> okay, her instincts are off there. But yes, that did something. Good lord. Yes, you can. Your strength has returned. Yes, it has. I can see. 
Love that. But he will still live. But how? Do you truly think that you could defeat me? You have failed, Master. Well, she wants to kill him. What do you want? Justice. Right. Can run in this. Run, Luke, run fast. Wish I could see a little bit better in this. Come on, Obi Wan. my love Oh, 
Don't become the next Darth Vader. You are literally in the same outfit with a hood on and a lightsaber. Are you going to do the same thing that this child that you went through? So you went through all of this to self-reflect? Okay, I guess. I couldn't do it. I failed him. He killed them all and I couldn't do it. You haven't failed them by showing mercy. You have given them peace. Exactly. You have honored them. Have I become him? Almost, but you didn't go through with it. You've chosen them. Exactly. Who you become now. It was up to you. Oh, that was a character twist, honestly. Good on you, Riva. Good on you. Good on her. Seriously. Well done. Now you are free. You are free, exactly. Every system within range. Is that Palpatine? It will destroy everything in our part until he is found. <laughs> agitated, my friend. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. Perhaps your feelings for your old master have left you weak. Kenobi means nothing. I serve only you, my master. But you did call the other one your master, babes. Dude, dude. Oh, thank you for this music. It's been so long. Oh, so amazing. Look at her preparing everything for herself, not doing it. Oh, good on you, Miss Princess. Is that a holster? Yes, it is. I love it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Good on you. You said there were many ways to leave. Looks like I was right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to want to change a few things. Good job. Then we we'll change things together. Oh, Daddy, so. Who is it today? Who am I to separate a young lady from her boy? <laughs> I, I thought it was all we want. I'm sorry. I fear for her future. The Empire grows stronger and bolder. Well, if you ever need my help again, you know where to find me. What do you do now? I don't know. What do you think I should do? I think you should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when I said before that I didn't know your parents, Princess Leia Organa, you are wise, discerning, kind-hearted. 
These are qualities that came from your mother. But you're also passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Both were exceptional people who bore an exceptional daughter. I wish I could tell you more. Again? Maybe. Someday. If you ever need help from a tired old man. But we must be careful. <laughs> no one must know. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, princess. May the force be with you. Oh, God. It's getting so much in the fields. <laughs> What little adventure can get you to do? It's made him realize what he's missing out. Look at you. What are you uh, doing here? I thought you were going to keep your distance. And I will. He just needs to be a boy. <sighs> will take care of itself the only protection he needs now Owen is you Ben you want to meet him always here, Obi-Wan. You just... we're not ready to see you. Come on. You've got a ways to go. Episode. like this is what I was exactly what I wanted not too much not too little but the right feels like Qui-Gon hello there the music the force theme the Leia theme the Darth Vader theme Palpatine all that is exactly what I wanted I know it's like going back to the same original like there is no like creativity from the series on its own but you know it's always good to touch up on the classics and then come back I just have that connection so to see that fully 100% gift through with this episode is just perfect like it, it like even if it was just like a second of Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon it still was perfect like it brought the entire thing the dialogue was right like you know I was always there you were just not ready to see it that is exactly it. That's why we have not seen Qui-Gon in the entire series. And his change of attire, like Obi-Wan's attire, to how he was, to how he is now. Like, he is embracing himself as a Jedi and goes by the sand people. And he is going to always look after Luke and Leia. And you know, that, that feeling of everything for a new hope is just coming through in this last episode. And... The part when they were fighting and 
you know, you could see that Obi-Wan, his weakness was the failure of him being taken care of Anakin Skywalker and made him become Darth Vader. And he was not able to protect the Jedi. He was not able to protect Anakin from himself. He was not able to protect Padme. He failed his own master. So all this is his, was his weakness, even though he got his strength back. But now his his weakness was overcome with his new strength, newfound strength of Leia being there for her, for him. And the, the, in a tiny package, he, she has inspired him to be the Jedi that he was. And he has gotten that force back. He's gotten that strength back on a major level. And to see that Leia was the one to, to get him to go back to his old self is amazing and i just loved the connection between obi-wan and leia in this entire series and i love the fact that they gave a little little option to luke but at the same time it wasn't all about luke because we know what luke is like he is the he is the real jedi and we know that but in terms of leia we needed to know a little bit of her story and i really love the fact that they touched up on that for sure and you have people around in the series to help Leia out. And like, you know how Leia was able to dress herself up, be like, she didn't need anyone because she's a princess. She's a leader. She can take care of herself as how she has been this entire kidnapping adventure. And credits to Reva for her to be like a leader. So, well, I guess, but, you know, and then Reva in that adventure, she also learned something that, you know, you can't, avenge your f fellow friends or fellow Jedi friends by killing Luke because it does nothing. It will not bring you any peace. Whereas giving him mercy, showing him mercy will bring you peace. And when she let go of her lightsaber, I mean, that associates to the old Reva. She's ready to embrace herself. She's free from that. That's been haunting her. I love the story arc of Reva it's, uh, as well. Like, it's so amazing. I think this episode seriously pulled itself up and it was so good. Really good. I really loved it. Oh, it was amazing. The fight sequence and then the encounter between Darth and uh, uh, Obi-Wan where he said, you didn't kill Anakin, I did. And he says that truly Anakin is dead and then he says goodbye Darth not even Anakin so he's accepted that like stuff like that is so it, it really means a lot to see you know to see that in between story before we go to New Hope so I loved that I loved everything about this episode I don't think it was a, there was a better way to ex explain any of it like but I just think that this episode was truly perfect and it really did it brought a lot of good memories and as i said from the previous two episodes it really did proper justice and i definitely found it super emotional uh whoops i found it super emotional and yeah i think it's um it's something that i will remember it which is what i always want to see from such uh, you know shows and whatnot but it's you know that father-son bond the father-daughter bond like the parent bond in the star wars world with the music really hits my feels and i really got that from this episode so what a wonderful way to end it with regards to having a second season um you know i would love to see one but i don't know how it was go how it would sort of take place from there because if you think about it sorry um i mean luke will grow up in a few years so will leia and a new hope starts so just in that few amount of episode like amount of time like it's sort of like in the in new hope ben is like someone who lives with a you know is part of the sand people is near the sand people and whatnot so you don't hear much about ben because he's been hid, he's like hidden and whatnot so i don't know in terms of like more storyline where exactly can we get that from i think from from my perspective because i 
of course i am still a person who's still learning the the lore and the the you know the stories of star wars so i believe there should be some more but from my knowledge what i see is like i think i'm happy with see, like obi-wan series as itself like that's it i think um i'm not really sure how they will put more storyline but if they do i will definitely be excited to see it so whatever it is i will be i'm just truly shocked at how amazing the fight sequence was essentially and i you know what there were certain areas which i couldn't see i really wish i was able to see it but nevertheless at least it hit the right feels it hit the right spot with uh, emotions and uh, the the encounters between characters was spot on and uh, the the ending like quite gone and the hello there like oh god it's like six episodes so late but at the same time it makes so much sense that it was kept for like the best for last so i really enjoyed it but uh oh we want is done i'm it's over but i'm super happy that i did this series as always because star wars is such a big part and i loved it but i'm now very excited to see mandalorian because of pedro pascal and i want to see more of that that side of uh, the story and hopefully we can continue with a bang i'm pretty sure it's not this year but it's the following year so we can continue mandalorian with a bang in 2023 it's a little too far away but still whatever i'm just like excited for everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't please don't forget to wear a mask and stay safe for your friends and family see you in hope i if, see you in maybe season two if not see you in the mandalorian bye